The winner of this year's GQ Food and Drink Award in association with Verkley Co. for the lifetime achievement is the legendary Raymond Blanc. No less. No less. <laughs> you came to the UK for the first time in 1972. What did you make of the country and what did the country make of you? Well, I love the rock and roll, that's for sure. <laughs> and I remember I wanted to taste the first British food onto a ferry. So I ordered my fish fingers because I knew it was very British. Then the fish arrived and the fish was square. And I've never seen a square fish in my life. Perfect. And I nearly died <laughs> of horror. And I said, oh, mon Dieu, where am I going? And tell us about the first time you saw Le Manoir. When I arrived on these gates, I completely fell in love with the place. And I arrived here without any appointment. I knock at the door. I say, merci, Lady Cromwell. But she said to me, but I am Lady Cromwell. And then I said, what do you want, young man? I want to buy your house. And she looked at me, she looked at my battered car, and she said, who are you? Uh, but my name is Raymond Blanc. And she blushed and she flashed. She said, no, please, please, she comes through. And we sat in the main lounge, and she tells me, first thing, of course, Mr. Blanc, I'm going to sell you my house. I'll tell you why. I came to your place with my family. It was so special. It was even more special because after two months, I lost my husband. Your place was the last moment where I was together. The morning after, on Monday, I phoned my banker. I said, sir, I'm going to buy Great Milton Manor. And he asked, there was this long silence. And then he said, with what? <laughs> <laughs> and you said, Raymond, that you were famously, you were self-taught. But who was the biggest influence on you as a cook, as a chef? Actually, uh, the biggest influence was not a chef. It was my mum because my mum was a great gardener, a great cook, and a great person. She just passed away, actually, two and a half months ago. And she gave me everything I had. I come from a very working class background, not a rich working class background, very poor, but with honor, with moral, with, uh, with values which are very strong, which she gave me, respect of people. So, Raymond, you've got, you've got Michelin stars, you have an honorary OBE, but now you've got a, G a GQ <laughs> Lifetime Achievement Award. So what's next for you? What's, what, well, first, what are you gonna keep doing? I would like to say how proud, of course, I am all right, all right, all right. to receive this great life achievement award by GQ. What is next? Oh, we are going to reinvent this house to make it even more beautiful, even more sensational, even more magical. Perfect, great. Thanks, Arby. Thanks, Arby. Cheers.